Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to say thank you for coming to my presentation. Uh, it is great to see you all. Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Yang Gisela Yulia Listika Esvandiatri in submission uh, 53. I'm from uh, School of November Institute of Technology, Surabaya, Indonesia. This is my presentation entitled Analysis Process and Design of Supply Chains Performance Indicators in Construction Companies. Uh, I will explain about the background uh, supply chain activity in uh, PTXIZ uh, company uh, are one of main strategic activity in managing supply chain and information in order to be a company competitive advantage as well as the efficiency. More or less 70 to 80 percent from cost of sales is a company supply chain activity. The supply chain activity has significant effect toward company profits because of the supply chain activities value in a form of the good and service sourcing. It is very important to measure uh, supply chain performance to benchmark a common company, to set gap analysis, and to set a continuous resolution for the supply chain management, which impact the increasing uh, company profitability. Uh, the problem uh, discussed in this paper are one, uh, one about the process. How is the flow process right now? What happened in the supply chain process? Number two about the performance. How to measure the supply chain performance and what things must be repaired now in order to eliminate problems happening in a process. The number three about the improvement. What have become an improvement indicator in supply chain to improve effective supply chain management performance in construction industry. Uh, the objects, the objectives of this study are one to get the big picture of the supply chain flow right now. The number two to measure the supply chain performance and get gap analysis from the performance measurement result and initiative improvement in a supply chain process flow. The number three, to create supply chain performance improvement to increase supply chain management performance effectiveness in the construction industry. Uh, the literature review of this study was taken from, among others, uh, one, the reference book about uh, supply chain management, uh, two, reference book about lean, uh, supply, lean supply chain management, number three, EPICS uh, 2019 score version uh, 12.0, about score model, uh, number four, several local journals, and number five, uh, several international journals. Uh, model uh, supply chain uh, operation reference score is a uh, supply chain which can be used in varied contexts to design, describe, configure, and reconfigure any company business activities. Score models. Score model integrates well-known concept like uh, business process engineering, benchmarking, uh, process measurement, and organization design in an interfunction framework. In hierarchy, score model supply chain management consists of detailed processes which integrate uh, from the supplier uh, to the customer, where the process in 
is in line with operational strategy, material, work, and company information flow. There are six process type which define the scope of model score. Uh, there are plan, source, make, deliver, deliver, return, and uh, enable. Uh, this is a research flow of the study. Uh, the first step, the literature study. Uh, this step is about the related study with the literature to learn and collect theories and methods from books reference of journal or journal to find information related with uh, supply chain management and occur problems. Uh, second step, uh, data collection. Uh, on this step, uh, data taking and collecting X to as research gathering related with a uh, business uh, supply chain process in a company in order to give a uh, supply chain performance assessment. The data collecting is uh, conducted in three ways. There are uh, direct observation, questionnaire, and interview. The third step, uh, performance design. Uh, on this step, uh, it has conducted that survey collecting using questionnaire and direct observation data really impacted in calculating supply chain management performance indicator. Uh, next, to do objective identification supply chain and divine performance attribute, which is in a company based on SCORE model. Supply chain framework is made by SCORE process with indicator calculation impacted key performance indicator from uh, score model. Uh, the fourth, the fourth step, uh, performance measurement and improvement. Uh, the next step is uh, to is to calculate each of the performance indicator and weighting. This weighting is done to acknowledge the necessity scale of performance attribute or score matrix. There are five score model attribute to measure company supply chain performance, which are uh, reliability, responsiveness, agility, cost, and asset. Performance evaluation is done by evaluating a performance parameters like access management, profitability, service level, and delivery time. Then it is followed uh, by calculating improvement in a supply chain process in order to improve supply chain management and effectiveness. Uh, uh, next, uh, we need to explain uh, about uh, XYZ company overview. Uh, XYZ company is one of the well-known government-owned companies which runs a construction service. It has several operational departments which run building development, infrastructure, railways, EPC or energy, property and precast concrete. It has many construction projects spread all over Indonesia. Uh, this is the process of a supply chain management business plan based on the SCORE model. Uh, supply chain process begins from procurement planning, then establishing strategic sourcing on procurement process, starts from supplier establishment to the contract agreement with supplier. After the supplier receives an agreement contract, material, material are ready to be delivered. 
after the material uh, received in the projects. Next uh, is the production process. Uh, product is ready to be delivered uh, to the customer or project owner. The customer or owner does the product handling, uh, checking whether it is uh, suitable with the requested requirement. If the product is not fit with the requirement, uh, requested requirement, the customer can reject. Customer can reject the product and need to return to the contractual until the product is fully accepted by the owner. Uh, it is the connection between uh, score attribute and data source. Score attribute uh, which are connected with uh, customer data are reliability, responsiveness, and agility. The ability is the suitable of the customer order with quality, uh, specification, and volume, delivery document, damage report, and then uh, responsiveness is a customer order or project owners on time and delivering document and agility is the light the lead time transport or distribution capacity production and procurement uh, moreover uh, score attributes which are related with uh, company data internally are cost and asset cost is the procurement department uh, cost is a uh, financing information for the department procurement, production, sales, material management, delivery, etc. An asset uh, is a uh, monetary information, financial data information, uh, such as a balance sheet report, a profit and loss, a cash flow, and a company equity. Uh, internal uh, data related with cost and asset are taken from uh, 49 active data projects in XIZ company. There are uh, total supply chain management costs and cost of goods sold, calculation need, uh, material costs, equipment, subcontractor and overhead project cost data. And then uh, cash to cash cycle time, uh, calculation need, uh, import inventory lead time, duration of accounts receivable and duration of debt. Uh, return on supply chain fixed asset, calculation need, uh, total sales and total project asset, uh, during supply chain process. And the last uh, return on working capital calculation needs a data inventory cost, account receivable cost, and account payable cost. Based on internal data research taken from a statistic description, I mean, uh, total supply chain management cost is 101.7 billion cost of goods sold is uh, 110.2 billion uh, cash to cash cycle time is uh, 190.8 days uh, written on supply chain fixed asset is 19.2 uh, percent uh, written on working capital is uh, 27.5 percent. External data needs which are connected will, with supply chain activities or on customer needs based on performance attributes are reliabilities, responsiveness, and agility. Questionnaire data consists of uh, 20 questions with uh, 60 respondents in 
project manager level. From the research, it shows a gap in range of uh, 21% to 26% uh, from the different actual performance with the best in-class performance for this performance attribute above. Uh, this is a scorecard. Uh, it is a recapitulation of the score uh, from the result, result which is uh, explained before with a performance attribute with level score matrix. Performance improvement based on performance attribute reliabilities, responsiveness, and agility will improve customer satisfaction. Uh, this is the graphic performance external picture, which is uh, seen as a gap a bit between actual measurement on the similar company performance measurement. Uh, and then uh, this is the graphic performance internal picture, which is seen as a gap between actual performance of the on the similar per company performance measurement. Uh, based on scorecard analysis above, uh, it is identified uh, several external and internal condition gap or reason practice to company benchmarking. The gap analysis are good and uh, service procurement implementation is not optimal yet because uh, there are several goods and service procurement hasn't reached the specification need, the below target procurement number, product or top quality is below X standard. The number two, supply chain speed and agility to owner or project owner request has not been optimal yet. And there are many supply chain activities in a project in handover process or delayed job. The number three, risk opportunity on goods and service procurement processes is quite big. So it potentially can cause work delay and work quality decreasing, which lead to owner penalty and company profitability decreasing. Uh, from scorecard analysis and other analysis above, uh, we can identify uh, the ongoing supply chain process in a company. So we can establish an upcoming supply chain improvement plan. The plan are one, goods and service procurement process has not been optimal, effective and efficient yet. Number two, partnership selection will be more effective based on qualification, Supplyability partners performance. Number three, centralized procurement is really important to optimum and efficient procurement. The number four, digital transformation supply chain management development. So the, the supply chain management process is more transparent. The number five, uh, SMD's uh, management application. Uh, after conducting supply chain identification based score card gap analysis, it needs to make a strategy and a supply chain development performance plan. In this case, in this case uh, lean, lean approach is uh, used in upcoming supply chain development performance plan. Lean approach is uh, creating a trim process, not doing a lot of waste eliminating waste on not doing non-valued work from for the customer. Lean model starts with mapping the value edit process, which uh, known as value stream, such as non-value edit, business value edit, and customer value edit. 
non-value added is eliminating or erasing work that has no value added. Uh, business value added is reducing a waste work. Uh, customer value added is optimizing work that give value added to the customer. Uh, after uh, supply chain is identified based on gap analysis and given strategy and supply chain performance development plan based on lean approach. The next step is uh, making strategy and supply chain management goals. Uh, there are uh, supply chain service excellent to support business growth. Number two, more effective and efficient procurement process. The number three, best synergy with business partner, like a vendor, subcontractor, or mandor. The number four, SM digital transformation. Number five, uh, SM talent competency. Okay, the conclusion. Uh, number one, score model is uh, exact reference and effective to measure supply chain performance in a company including construction service company with conducting diagnostic method research and benchmarking in order to help the company to do real development in the supply chain process. Uh, number two, based on analysis or scorecard, it is identified as several external condition to the company condition to the company benchmarking. On that gap analysis, it is obtained that can be used to identify supply chain development processes. The number three, based on the development process above, so the company will set upcoming strategy and purpose of supply chain management, such as uh, uh, supply chain management is expected to support the company business growth. Number two, procurement process is expected to be more effective and efficient. The number three, having the best synergy and relationship with partner. The number four, SM gets to digital from its application. The number five, having competent, dedicated, and high integrity SM personnel. Okay, thank you. Uh, that's uh, our presentation and thank you for your attention. I hope this presentation has uh, given us new insight on the performance measure supply chain management in construction industry in Indonesia. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.